guys and welcome to Payback, a pay-per-view presented by the WWE and by myself as a commentator as we watch to the results of Payback and what the game got for us in store. Like usual, I didn't change anything of the match card. Um, um, only thing that I changed was Liv Cashin from the main shows because I... Uh, Found that Lyft is. I I think that I'm uh, the opinion that I have the opinion that Lyft deserved it, so I gave her the title win here, and um, yeah, maybe doing the same with Austin Siri, even though he's not so high on the priority he list than Lyft Morgan here. because Lyft. Be I always found her ta talented uh, when I started watching her in the White Squad and the we and the Ruby as well, and it's a shame that Ruby and she didn't get used better at times, and uh, Ruby should been the woman champion and didn't. But at least Liv, uh, years later, won the SmackDown Women's title by cashing it in on Wanda Rousey, which surprised the hell out of me. Um, and uh, even though I don't watch it anymore, I, um, uh, WWE is always... Uh, I don't watch it regularly anymore. WWE is always in my heart, always in my mind and soul. And um, because it brought me so many memories, it's always... Uh, and I can't turn my back on it. I can't. I, I tried, but... Uh, and even though Lucha Underground got me back when I didn't care about watching wrestling, uh, now Lucha Underground's done out of business and WWE is still there. And even though I don't like everything that they, most that they present, but it's still in my heart and soul for the good memories or the nostalgia that I have towards this company. And now we have this great spot. And AJ Styles was way mysterious. I don't know why they put it in the open. I mean. That's the main event caliber matchup right there. The phenomenal one, she get, phenomenal one AJ Styles against the master of the 619, the greatest underdog in, in wrestling history, where Mysterio and one of my all time favorites, despite me normally don't like the fa prefer me uh, preparing the heads and I don't call them heels because it sounds lame boring and uh, lame and boring. Hell, I mean, what is a better word to describe uh, um, somebody who. Um, have evil tactics or sheeting and um, you know then hell I mean hell itself is there any darker place in it I, in the, possible I don't think so so that's the perfect way for me to describe a bad guy in uh, wrestling a uh, hell you know because it sounds cool and it has a meaning behind it. what's a heel what's that is this some spaghetti sauce or some I don't know but it sounds lame and boring oh look at this heel he's a great heel that's sound lame and boring I don't like it but hell this with so much intensity with so much fire with such a meaning behind it that sounds cool AF I'm not gonna lie much like this matchup and now we will see who reigns supreme in the opener AJ Styles I have nothing against Styles he's a phenomenal one so don't mind the victory at all Bobby Lashley was Kevin Owens don't mind to see this in, but at least it's no holds barred match so could be intense and Lashley got the victory not a huge fan by of either of those two men but hey that's this um yeah good for match two in my opinion so now we have mvp uh, we have Shelton benjamin was out who excuse me <laughs> uh with heart for uh with um hard business by the side for Shelton benjamin against our twos will it help him though it does perhaps i don't know Maybe he did it all by himself with MVP and Cedric out there for mental support, who knows? We don't see the match, so I can so just suggest us now we're for the Intercontinental Championship. I believe that Happy Corbin challenged Sami Zayn, even though... Um, i give you a quick input on Cor Baron Corbin. As a lone wolf, I liked him, because it was a character that I can relay, him, uh, relay on myself, because I am... Uh, and I am a lone wolf for real, and there's no one a more more alone wolf than I am because I always when a loner, I always have a strong character like a wolf. When uh, the world is full full of wolves and sheep, and um, you know, and uh, I'm a wolf. I have a strong character, and um, uh, that's why loner wolf has in for sort of world wolf full of uh, wolves and chiefs with strong and weak characters i'm definitely a strong character and so uh, i f i related i relate much to the character that come presented and i and it was and it was perfectly fitting now it sucks what he presents in my uh, not him not what he presents but his gimmicks they 
they're not really the right fit the lone wolf persona fit him so so perfectly had this then then with um i bring the bar i bring the darkness had this bang of a of a track as well and it was all fitting until they messed up his money in the bank cash in and downward hill from then in my opinion uh, nothing against Corbin because he's it's not his fault in my opinion it's uh, the fault of the creative team and the company in my opinion and it's a, it's a shame and it's sad but maybe he will be happy after winning the IC title over from Demi Zane and he does and of days is still a cool move though and uh, same about the deep six if he does he do deep six I, I'm but can I'm better on the angel Challenging the Viking Raiders, the War Raiders for the SmackDown Tag Tiles. Will they win Supreme? Nope, the Raiders retain. And now we have Sonya the Wolf, Charlotte Flair. Hope Sonya wins. She's an all-time favorite from uh, of myself. Also, the Queen Charlotte Flair. She is a great wrestler, but in my mind, uh, she's so overpushed, and I'm tired of seeing her. So I'm winning for Sonya. And Sonya is underrated, so underrated and undervalued in my opinion. She's such a good athlete, despite not me normally not liking the people who came from MMA and UFC because it's not the style that I prefer. I would prefer in matches, but I still like Sonya. I I always um, liked and always saw her potential, and in my my mind she belongs into the main event. Let's see if she gets a huge victory over Charlotte Flair here tonight, and she does indeed. Perhaps this was my support getting Sonya the victory here tonight. Wow! And now for for the United States Championship, Damian Priest tries to get get the title back from Jeff Hardy after losing it to him. Will he get it here tonight? He did indeed. Okay, would like to see the match. I mean, Jeff Hardy, I like him, even though I don't like many faces, like I said before, and Priest. I always like I always liked seeing him even in NXT when I uh, this with this Archer of Infamy and uh, so like him to say Liv Morgan against Bailey and um, yeah who will reign supreme from Ma SmackDown Women Champion I give the win to Liv though uh, because Liv should get the win she deserves in my opinion that's the only reason so I change the result there because I want to and now we have Big E versus Seth Rollins who will win there even though I don't care about the participants or the matchup so while this window and we have RK Bro versus the Sweet Prophets have nothing against the Sweet Prophets have nothing against the Riddle but the only person who I care about in this match is Randy Orton because he's my favorite wrestler he brought me into wrestling I saw him and I could relay much to his, persona to his personality that he pre uh, pre uh, portrayed as his character as a viper as um, um, and he will be always my favorite because he brought me into this wrestling and I'm thankful for it because so many great memories happened so many great things happened that I saw in wrestling and so many great memories so Randy I hope you win this thing and he does with Riddle okay what tag team championships are with RK bro I don't know if they profits were champion or if so they're not the champs anymore but I don't know anymore as we have no seen of us so that's a match up which I really would like I mean so is underrated and Cena he never gives up and oh, even though he was champion too many times but still um, I kind of like this never give up thing and uh, so and that he was always there as a champion so and he defeats Cesaro what I don't like personally but it's Cena so yeah Against the Swiss Superman, but Super Cena. Even though I would like to Cesaro having the win ma match there, but one there, but it's all right in my opinion. And I don't blame Cena for um, his many championship win because you can't put the blame on Cena because, sure, he might have uh, used his power um, with. Uh, changing uh match finish and stuff but still if it could have been if um the in charge is always the company and uh you know so that that's you should put the blame on company for that instead of cena and uh and uh, hating cena for it because he's just falling order like a soldier you know like in military he's a soldier you know he's um just doing what his uh bosses tell him to do okay not always like i said not, not like not, not always like I said he politic from what I heard rumors about that he politicking into stuff and maybe he also uh, talked about it but still in most parts he's just following orders from his bosses so 
should put the blame on them instead of him in my opinion but maybe i could be wrong on that maybe not who uh, cares who let's focus on finn bella gets the opportunity against but bless i hope finn bella wins this matchup because in my opinion he's underrated and he should win the big ones that's what happens hey always impressive stuff even though i would prefer uh in real life seeing him as a face because i think he for me personally he's more a good guy and i, I and i can't boo see him as a bad guy i can't see him as a bad guy he's He's he got such a uh, face look liking face, you know, such a good guy face, and in my opinion, and uh, <laughs> I would like to uh, for him to be liked from the crowd. Um, even though I don't care about crowd support from me personally, but it's not talking about me. It's talking about Bella, and I hope he defeats the beast with Paul Heyman by the beast side. Come on, Finn. Yes, he does. It's like it's like who it's um. It's like Christmas, but for real this time, and it's not even Christmas, and, and uh, Christmas isn't even real, so... <laughs> Sorry if I upset any children there by spoiling it. <laughs> Didn't thought about that before. But anyways, we're now looking at Roman Reigns, the tribal, uh, the tribal jackass, um, against um, the uh, Scottish psychopath to McIntyre. And I hope, f I'm waiting for Drew as you might hope, because he's so good in the wing, he's underrated in my opinion, and he should defeat... Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns in my time overrated, and I don't like part-time champion, so do a kick his ass and go home with the gold, come on, nope, damn it, and now we have a great main event from Raw Women's, from Raw Women's side with Bianca Belair, one of my all-time favorites from the women's perspective against Asuka, who I also like much, so, in a notable spot match to uh, top it all off, and, wow, what a matchup, and Asuka getting home with the title, I think she won the title from Belair? Um, yeah, that's uh, those are our results for payback. I will uh, get to everything um, start once again for everyone who misses us. AJ starts phenomenal one beatway Mysterio in the opener on what I assume was a good match. Otherwise, uh, it would be shame. But hey, everyone they all just human, so you know, don't put the blame too hard on them because they they're legends. They're legends. They're living legends. In my opinion, Bobby Lashley defeating KO in an old smart match. Also, no old smart match, even though I don't prefer their match styles and their characters in world, so but could been interesting. Could been. Shem Benjamin beating a true. I wouldn't mind to see their match, even though Hard Business in world and true all by himself, but I like a true. He's, he's always entertaining, he's always funny, and I, uh, but the most, what I liked most about him was the heel a persona, this. Uh, crazy dude and we're pairing him up with the miss as awesome tools and uh, they they calling the uh, out the crowd and telling them and who tools rapping about how much the crowd sucks and then with the, the youth suck and stuff that was for me the best art tools of them all in my personal opinion and happy calm becoming in the continent champion by defeating Sami Zayn I assume with the end of days and yeah congrats though even though I don't like seeing that. <laughs> the Viking, the way does we take into against Gaza and Carrillo. Sonia defeating Charlotte Flair in a huge match, and hopefully for Sonia just the beginning of a huge push. Hopefully Universe Mode. I hope it capitalizes on this and push Sonia the way she deserves. Damien Priest regaining his title from Hardy, I think. Then we have Liv retaining against Bailey because I got involved and don't want Liv to lose the title yet again. Because she deserved, deserves a long title win in my opinion. Like she had in real life, it was a cool title win, and I hope that WWE push her yet again since uh, she's back and stuff. And but we will see. I think. Said so Wallace, well, feeling big E. I don't care about the matchup, but maybe it was a good match. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I don't care. Move on. Wendy, favorite wrestler of them all with Riddle by her side, defeated the Prophets. Uh, I don't know for their titles or if I keep retaining. I don't know about that. But I think there was retribution also in the world uh, with um, T Bar and Mace, cool team. My opinion, sadly, that it's no more and stuff. And I don't get that push uh, from retribution, but they were under the card. So let's talk about Whittles and Orton's huge victory here tonight. Um, then we have Cena defeating Cesaro, the man of the, the bell of the Superman, but sadly not. The ending I hope for, but is what it is, of course. Then we have Finn Balor defeating Brock Lesnar to becoming the WWE Champion. What's 
huge and what I like to see. Then with Roman Reigns retaining, I believe the title, the universal title that I don't like over Blue McIntyre, who I like sort of. But yeah. But that hasn't had anything to do, uh, even if I, a wrestler who I don't like at all would challenge one for the title, I still would put for the person who I don't like uh, to see Wayne's getting the title of him. That's all I can say. And then we have Asuka in the main event, the Fiend Belair for the World Championship, I, def I suppose, in the No It's Part match and to end our show. And hopefully we see each other this week at NXT as well, where we won't go to any results, we will see the matches, and there you see how the results came and how and hope you will be surprised what we got in store for the next couple of weeks in NXT because I don't know when we have the next pay-per-view but I think we have a bit of time of booking so let's see and maybe it get changed I don't know we will see see you to next week of NXT